This episode of Riffs and Chugs TV is brought to you by Yamaha Music. What up guys? So in the last episode of this home recording tutorial series, we touched on how to optimize your computer for home recording. So just some general tweaks that you can make to your PC for home recording. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it down below. Give it a watch and then come straight back and finish up this video. So today we're going to look at two things. How to arrange tracks, well rather how I arrange tracks for home recording, okay? So there are many ways to skin a cat, but this is just how I do it. And then I'm going to touch on how to install and get plugins working in your DAW. So without further ado, let's swing over to the computer and get cracking. Awesome, so now that we have Reaper open in all of its glory, let's get cracking. So I always start off with drums. Now, this is my stock template for drums. Don't worry, I will have downloads for all of this down below in the description, and I'm gonna show you guys now how to create tracks that look like this. So this over here, this drums folder over here, this is my parent folder for the drums, okay? So this over here, will tell us that everything underneath it is controlled by this. So any plugin that you put in over here on this parent group will affect every single thing here in some total, okay? Um, as well as volume, as well as panning. So I usually just center pan the um, parent drum track and then everything else here I will pan individually, but that's for another video. But anyway, so now let's go to adding in our other instruments, okay? So I will go control T and then I'll create a new track. I bring it up to the top and I will call this guitar. Awesome. So now I will create two guitar tracks underneath control T, control T, select them both and then drag them up against here. And now I've got two tracks that I can label guitar R and guitar L, and now they are both managed by a single parent track. Let's do the exact same for bass. So open up a new um, track. Let's expand it a little bit, a little bit more. Sweet. And then let's call it bass. Let's add two underneath. There we go. Let's call that clean and dirty because we like to split that. Um, there we go. So that's how I do it. I mean the theory applies to everything. I mean you can have vocals So you'll create a vocal bus over here and then Expand it out so it can basically be like cleans You can have another one for screams. You can have another one for um, let's say harmonies and you can literally go on forever and ever and ever. So then I will sub that into the vocal group. Usually with vocals, I like to just throw it at the top because it just makes sense to me. And then lastly, before I finish this part up, I always add one more track, bring it to the top, expand it open like that, and then I will select everything with control A, deselect the top one, grab all of these, and I will sum it under one bus that closes and everything sits over here, okay? The reason I do that is literally just for um, organization sakes. I don't really, um, it doesn't really add much. I mean, sometimes I might throw a compressor on here, um, but yeah, yeah, that's kind of much of a muchness, but yeah. So I will put this up for download in the description. This will only work in Reaper, unfortunately, the template, um, but you can apply this methodology to whatever DAW that you are using. Awesome. Now let's get into installing plugins. So usually with plugins, there are two ways that there are, there are available for download. You have DLL plugins and you have executables. Now let's first start off with the DLLs. Okay. So before you even think of installing them, you need to know where Reaper is looking for your plugin. So to do that, you can go options, preferences, and then you can slide down to VST. So click uh, under plugins, click VST. Here you can see the folder paths that Reaper is looking for plugins. So C program files x86 VST plugins or C program files Reaper 64 plugins. So let's take this directory over here, okay? So I'm just gonna copy it, open up a run, open that up, sweet! Now I am inside my plugins folder. So that is where Reaper is looking for your plugins. That is where your plugins need to be installed for them to be picked up by Reaper. Now, 
Let me open up here. So here's some plugins that are downloaded. Okay, I've downloaded these two after DLL and Arula. Something Maximizer 5. It just looked cool. The picture looked cool. So I just downloaded it. It's free from vsdforfree.com. Link down below in the description as always. I will select these. I will copy them. I will, whoops, why did I click record? I will go into my plugins folder, see? See program files, Reaper plugins, and I will just paste them in here. Now that they are pasted in here, I will go back to options, okay? I'll go to preferences, VST, and I will just quickly hit rescan. And there you can see it's loading them up, and I can select, oh, let's just do it right over here, just for the sake of doing it. Type in after in the filter and make sure you've got all plugins selected. And then I can double click on this one and there is the plugin that I just installed. Now, there is a second way that plugins are sent to you, sometimes via executable. So it's an installation package. What you're gonna do is once again, always check this folder path. Um, that it's looking for plugins with Reaper. You can always add new folder paths. So it's actually quite dynamic, but let's just Copy this folder path. Let's go back to our little plugins folder and let's use tone forge guilty pleasure as the Test subject open up the windows installer. This is from Joey Sturgis tones. This isn't free But it's a freaking good amsum. Okay, so let's double click the executable should start, there we go, it's say next, I accept the agreement. Does anybody ever really read these? I suppose you should, but that's another discussion. <laughs> next, and then I will paste it. I'll just replace the directory that's stock over here with the one that Reaper is looking for, the plugins. Next, and then would you like to install? It already exists because I've actually got it installed, but anyway, you will select, this actually shouldn't pop up if you haven't got it installed, but anyway, I'm not gonna, uninstall and reinstall, don't want to break things, but this is important. You'll finish it like every other installation and then you'll hit rescan again and then you'll open up a effects tab over here and say tone forge and there we go. There is my tone forge guilty pleasure. That easy. It's literally that easy to select effects over here and just add a plugin. It's really that easy. I'll actually do it right now. There's Tone Forge. Double click, say OK, and then boom, there we go. It is working. It's that easy. So, if you guys have any questions, please hit me up down below in the comment section. And yeah, so next week I've got a special guest to talk about our favorite free plugins. Okay, so we're going to talk totally free plugins. And yeah, so stay tuned and hit that subscribe button, smash me a like. And thank you so much, guys. Have a rad day. Cheers.